That was so scary. Why did he pull a weapon? It's okay. No, it's okay. It's not. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, Viv just called the police. That was weird. Okay. It's okay. Ran away. Yeah, it's okay. It was okay. scary. Why was he chasing? I was physically assaulted by a man with a machete. Real quick, I want to let you guys know that this is a vlog. So if you guys are interested in just the assault, you can skip to this part of the video. But for my regular viewers, and maybe even some new ones, I hope you guys enjoy. Are you making me a sandwich right now? The love of my life. You like that shit? And some of you guys are probably freaking out. Why is a strong, independent woman like Viv making me a six foot, rich, handsome man? <laughs> you didn't have to laugh that hard. Why is she making me a sandwich? She woke up today and she said, Oh my God, Eric, your performance last night was so amazing that I just wanted to make you a sandwich for lunch today. So we got prosciutto, salami, low fat cheddar, some hummus, and then Dijon. What's that on that be? Oh, you want to see yourself here? Actually, yeah. Oh my god, I'm so oily. Face looks amazing. He just came back from official. I don't like that. Why? Because I'm the only one that should be oh, giving. Shut the f up. While Viv makes my sandwich, let me uh, tell you guys a story. So my ass hurts right now. Uh, not my butthole, my ass cheeks. Like the glutes. Ow. Delicious. Yeah. I would love to eat this with Panera's tomato soup. Also, I realized you guys definitely like Viv more than me. So I'm going to be incorporating her into the video some more so that I get more engagement. Even Pokimane is a fan of Viv. She gave me a shout out on her story, which was sick. Thank you very much if you happen to be watching. And then I read the fine print and I was like, oh, I see, I see, makes sense now. Just wanted to put that in the video to flex on you guys. Boom! Wait, I look short if I do that. Boom! Uh, I still look short, I think. I'm six foot though, I swear. Terry, you're blocking my romantic shot with Viv. Yaki, you, <laughs> you weren't invited. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking cute. Oh, I'm gonna get up. <clears throat> oh, whoa, oh, relax, relax, relax. It's a YouTube. A YouTube video. I'm about to go to the gym now. Some of you guys were asking in the last video where this bag is from. It's from Uniqlo. It's like a giant kangaroo pouch and then it just folds over and then you tighten it. Huh? Viv wanted me to say that my girlfriend bought it for me, which she did. I just bring a water bottle, and my AirPods, and then sunglasses for the walk there. All right, let's go, let's push the Imagine this, you've always been bigger than your little brother, but then you stop working out for five years, he starts working out, he gets bigger than you, he's taller than you, and then you guys go to the gym together for the very first time, and he completely mocks your ass. He does more weights, with more reps, and has better form. Bro, I couldn't even get 185 up, and I watched this man do 225 for six reps. Felt like a scene straight out of beef. Watching him rep what I used to do, but am nowhere near close to doing right now, made me feel motivated in a way that I have never been motivated before. Because there is no absolute way I am going to continue letting my little brother be bigger than me. This workout, I trained at a higher intensity than I usually do. Just because, bro, if you're going to do eight dips, I'm going to do eight dips too. It was very humbling and also humiliating to see this man do everything I did, but better. But it was a good workout. I had a lot of fun working out with him and I'm glad we got to go together. And that was a great workout, except it wasn't because kind of ratioed me on every single lift. We're going home now. And then Viv and I are going to take my little brother out for dinner to uh, Pocha to celebrate him finishing his MCAT. Viv. Just got ready, she put on her outfit and she wants to show you guys. <laughs> All right, babe, do your little walkie walk. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is the ASOS curvy skirt. And what's this top? This top is from Abercrombie. You look great. I'm just wearing a shirt 
with, you know, shorts. <laughs> I have no fashion sense. The way you curl your eyelashes is so beautiful. Viv's acting cool right now, but she's actually very proud of her lashes. Just letting you guys know, uh, this video is going to be heavy with the K-Town appearances because we're going to Pota tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to another Pota to celebrate my friend's birthday. And then on Sunday, I'm going to Korean barbecue with a friend of mine. Tonight's gonna be a good night though. This is my first time drinking with my little brother in like, actually, I don't think we've ever drank before to be honest. Okay. No, it's okay. It's not. Oh, it's okay. it's okay. Yeah, Viv just called the police. That was weird. Okay. It's okay. Ran away. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Scary. Why was he chasing? The craziest thing just happened to me. So I'm walking straight. This guy says, "Say excuse me." We're nowhere near each other, and then he pulls out a machete on me. He also spit on me. He also smacked my head. Actually, swung at me. You guys saw that, right? Yeah. yeah. He's on the phone with the police. Yo, shout out to this guy. Oh, now the cops are here. Did you see what happened? Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy, right? Yeah. It was crazy. Yo, low key though, I tanked it. I tank. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> it's okay. So it's okay. Anyway, it's okay. It's I'm okay. So sorry. It's okay. What started that? What happened? Nothing. We, we were just we just attacked you. Yeah, no, I was crossing the street over there, uh -huh. and he was coming towards me, and then he swerved around me and said, "Say excuse me," like to my face. I was like, "Whoa!" Just. I don't, I don't even know you, we didn't even say anything. And then he pulled out a machete. Yeah, I saw the yeah, machete. He, yeah, you saw the machete, right? Yeah, he just yeah, started chasing machete, after yeah. me. I mean, thankfully he didn't use the machete on me, but just no, smacked me on the head. No, I pulled it out. I was very worried about you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, right? you yeah, right? Yeah, he hit me, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's fine, though. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, you want I'm me to get your glass of water from you? Oh, no, no, it's okay. Thank right. you so much. A lot of cops can't get him. He's, he's a crazy person. <laughs> yeah, dude, his breath was stank. I don't know why we're so angry though. Hopefully they catch the guy because he is a menace to society right now. He's got a machete in his backpack. Unfortunately, the police refused to give me the security footage from where the altercation happened. So I'm going to do my best to reenact and recreate um, everything that happened to give you guys a good visual. Me, my little brother and Viv are just walking across the crosswalk. And then on the right, there was a man by himself walking around in circles on the sidewalk, talking to himself. I'm just walking and as I pass the guy, he gets in Eric's face. He popped out like this. Yeah. And he says, say excuse me when you pass me. Okay. <laughs> Breath included. And the one thing going through my mind was, oh my God, this guy's breath is awful. Didn't even acknowledge what he said. Didn't say a word to him. I just kept walking, which is usually what I do. I just ignore the crazy people. But what I did do, I looked back at him and I, I don't know what face I had on, probably like a face of disgust. Holy shit, bro, brush your teeth. And then I just kept walking. So now I'm in a position where I'm in front but Viv, my little brother, and the guy are still behind me. But for some reason, I stay back because I hear the guy like saying more stuff. Just assessing what this person's gonna do. He goes, I got something for you guys. His eyes like, like f***ing huge, like staring at me and Kevin. And I'm like, oh my god, he's gonna f***ing pull out a gun. Puts his hand in his bag and he literally pulls out like the rustiest machete. The moment me and Kevin see this, me and Kevin's instinct is to like run, but I'm in heels, so I'm like f and Kevin is just fast and he just runs towards Eric and the guy is like nice, like smiling, runs after Kevin. I'm like fing thank God he's not gonna come get me. <laughs> but the scariest part is that Eric had no idea all this had happened and his back is still towards us. I'm watching the guy run after Kevin. Kevin runs past Eric and Eric turns around. Like while he's mid turning around, the guy then like like hits the back of Eric's head. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. like with the force of him running. My brother ran past me. I'm turning around to see what he's running from. And like, as I'm mid turn, I get like smacked in the head. Light work. No reaction. I turn around and the man is standing there with a fucking machete. Okay, it's got a little kick. Oh. I had so many things going on in my head. The top three things were, he's got a machete, I don't have health insurance, 
why do I not have my camera out? Cause this is like insane vlog material. I got brain rot, I don't know, I'm a YouTuber. And then my reaction is to try and de-escalate the situation. I know a lot of you armchair experts are going to tell me, wow, Eric, that was so dumb of you. You should have ran. And trust me, I wish I ran too. It's just that at that moment, in that specific situation, it wasn't an option. My brother had ran past me. I was over here. The guy with the machete was standing right in front of me in between my girlfriend and I. So had I run this way, he could have gone after my girlfriend. And I'm not, I'm definitely not running towards my girlfriend, towards him when he has a machete. So I tried to de-escalate the best that I could. To be completely honest, I didn't do a great job de-escalating. My immediate physical reaction was put my hands out and say, Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> pussy you're not gonna use that chill continuing to back away he's continuing to walk forward to me yelling gibberish right something about how he runs brooklyn whatever starts putting the machete back in his bag there's distance between us and then i started walking away looking back on him constantly to make sure that he's not running after me and then the guy like is like okay sweet waits until eric's head is exposed again to then go for it one more time and he like wax it no he walks me yeah yeah he whacks you in the ear like this he's on my right side he gets up in my face again and then the most heinous shit dude takes his neck back and spits just all over me and he just sprayed that shit like <laughs> and it came out all over like literally this was my face Oh. Yeah, so I saw your face. You were disgusted. Like disgusted. And then you want you were ready to throw hands yeah. and the man then is like a bitch and is like machete. machete. <laughs> After he spits on me, he like backs up and as I'm walking towards him, he starts pulling the machete out of his bag. I'm like, "Bro, like no way, no way you're smacking me in the head and anytime I step up to you, you're pulling out a machete. What can I do? The man's got a fucking machete. He just started walking backwards and he, you know, towards the other side of the street and he was like, something, something. I, I had no idea what he was saying. He noticed that people saw and were calling the cops. He was like, oh shit, I need to get the fuck out of here. Like you could tell, he wasn't walking, he was like speed walking away to go hide. And at that point I was like on the phone. I hope that was visually enough for you guys to imagine what happened. In the back, like freaking out, crying. And then like, I see you and Kevin and your faces are this, like <laughs> as this man's like machete in hand, like beating the back of your head. Like, I was like, do I run away? <laughs> and I was about to cross the street to like get away from him because I didn't want to like him turn around it because I would be the most vulnerable. Um, no, I, I just called to report um, the person who was injured is actually next to me. Wait, so are we filing a report tomorrow? So we're going into the station? No, no, they'll come to us. Shit was wild though. Stay safe, guys. But we, uh, we ended up taking an Uber instead of taking a subway because we don't want to run into him. Hopefully the, uh, the police find this guy because dude literally had a machete in his bag. He's a menace. We're at Soju House now, getting ready to drink. My little brother doesn't want to be on camera, which is fine. Some Somac to start us off for the night. Cheers, chug it, cheers. We should have just gone home. I think Viv and I were just kind of forcing it because we did want to celebrate my little brother finishing his MCAT, but the vibes were just off. I think all of us in the back of our heads were thinking, what the f just happened? And we were just trying to distract ourselves. And uh, you know, you could tell that it was on our minds still. My head doesn't feel great, but I don't have insurance. All right, I'll be right back. Hi. Yeah, I was physically assaulted by a man with a machete. You've never seen this guy before, right? I've, I've never, I've I've never met this guy in my life. You feel pain in the back of your head, right? It's just, uh, it's just ringing a little bit, but it's, it's fine. But you're okay, right? You're yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. You got a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do. What kind of videos do you upload you? I just make vlogs. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. How are they doing? They're doing okay. I'm about to join that too. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, appreciate it. I got my incident report here. I am going to uh, bring it to the restaurant for the security footage tomorrow. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.
And we are here at Hai Lua, which is a Vietnamese restaurant in Williamsburg. A month or two ago when Viv and I were sick, we actually ordered pho from here on Uber Eats. But we're gonna eat here for the first time. Hello. I am contemplating getting a uh, bumble hood, but I think I'll just get pho because I am still a little hungover and I want like a, an easier broth to stomach. I can't lie, this Thai iced tea looks pretty f***ing legit. Cheers. Oh. It's not too sweet. You can actually taste the tea. Chicken, lemongrass chicken bun me, and they cut it in uh, three pieces for us. Oh, that looks good. Cheers, first buddy, here we go. Yo, whoever's in charge of the playlist here. Yo, I like this. This hot sauce is kind of nice. So here's the pho. Love the presentation with the add-ons. And they also give you some garlic over there. Very nice. Yeah, you can. You don't have to. Oh, liquid gold, baby. Cheers, first bite. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. That's what I needed after last night. How do you like it? Beautiful. Honestly, this is probably my favorite pho in the city. Would you also say the same? Yeah. The Chinatown pho, like. <laughs> also, this is fire. Like, I don't ever want to use sriracha with my pho again if this is here. I'm sorry, it's hot. We are going to the subway right now. The entire way, it's like a 13 minute walk. Anytime I pass by someone, I'm a little bit more alert with my surroundings. I have very unfortunate news, and it's that I was unable to get the footage of the altercation. I actually met up with a detective at the restaurant. The IT guy was going to send the footage to him, and I asked him if I could get the footage as well, and he said no. Listen, if I'm gonna take two hits to the back of my head, I at least wanted to show you guys. And unfortunately, I was not able to get that footage. If I do get it in the future somehow, or like after the guy's been caught or whatever, I'll be sure to show you guys. <sighs> it was supposed to be the thumbnail too. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, uh, didn't mean to dampen the mood, my bad. But my friend Chris is coming over and we are going to hang out and play some Smash. I am at Anytime, which is another pocha in K-Town that we really like. I'm here with my friend Chris, who you saw earlier at my apartment. We're here to celebrate Chris's birthday. Sorry, it's kind of loud in here. I'm also really sorry that today has been kind of slow. Today was just kind of a weird day. I think Viv and I were really processing what happened yesterday, and uh, I wasn't really in the mood to pull out the camera, because I mean, Viv was just crying nonstop, and I was just trying to comfort her. It is what it is, what happened happened, and we are here to celebrate Chris's birthday, so let's get drunk. Actually, I don't know, I might take it easy. Cheers! Honestly, I'm a little hungover from yesterday, but... Uh, I think that the food at any time is better than Soju Ice's food, lately. So we got the mussel soup, which is honestly some of the best shit here. And then we also got the tteokbokki here, very sexy. We are on a diet though, but today's a cheat day. You guys want to see the tech? Unfortunately, when they brought out the cake, I was peeing in the bathroom, so I was unable to record it with my camera, but thankfully, Jeremy was able to get a video. Okay, never mind, we got the video. Damn. Yeah, I don't know why you're trying to accuse me. Ah! Ah! 
That's good cake. We are on our way to 7th Street Burger. 7th Street, let's go. Just walking back and forth. Pretty funny. I really wanted these yesterday. We weren't able to get it, but we got it today. A lot of people ask me where they should go when they visit New York City. If you go out at night, Come to 7th Street Burger at the end of your night. It is such a shitty burger and it hits so good. Do not eat this sober though. <laughs> yeah, do not eat this sober. Mm. It still tastes amazing sober, but you're gonna feel like shit. The alcohol helps you cope with what you just did to yourself. Vegetarian friendly. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. I'm on my way to the gym now, and you can just skip to the gym part if you want, because I want to talk about what happened two days ago for a little bit. Ever since that attack, I've been like super, super high alert with anybody I see out on the streets. Like, this guy that I just passed, I was looking at him while he was way down there in my head thinking, is this guy a fucking nut job? For 25 years of my life, I was walking around with male privilege thinking that nothing was gonna happen to me. And even if something did happen to me, I'd be fine because I was a guy and I could handle it. Not so much when a dude has a fucking machete. I don't really know where I was going with all of this. I think I just wanted to talk. Mentally, it's just been kind of exhausting. But I'm here at Blink. Anyone get the joke? I've been hungover for the past two days, so it might not go well. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, and you probably could read my vibe by what I was saying on the way to the gym. I really did not want to work out today. I had also drank two nights in a row and I was just feeling like absolute dog shit. But I just said, F it, let me just go and have the best possible workout that I can in this condition. Cause in my mind, a shitty workout is better than no workout at all. I kept the day very light though, just did some lat pull downs. And then I also did my chest supported rows, which is probably one of my favorite back exercises. The mind muscle connection that I feel doing these kind of rows is way better and nicer than the ones I feel while doing like seated cable rows. I also did some lap pullovers, although I do think I can improve my range of motion. And then I finished off my day by doing some inclined bicep curls, except there was a seat that went straight up, so I kind of had to sit at an angle. I also did do preacher curls after this, but I couldn't get a good angle to record at, so not shown here. That was a good workout. It's kind of short, but didn't really feel like being at the gym for too long today, so I'm just gonna go home now. One more thing that I think is worth mentioning uh, in this video is that this is now week three of going to the gym consistently, so that's pretty good, guys. I think someone commented it on my last video where they said, don't make it a routine, make it a lifestyle. Pretty good advice and also pretty inspirational, so I got an inspirational quote for you guys as well. Keep on farting because you ain't shit yet. I'm pretty sure that's from uh, a meme page I saw. Back home from the gym now, and I was going to eat and stuff, but I got kind of distracted, and I ended up making the thumbnail for today's video. For those of you that live under a rock and don't know the meme, this is the reference photo. And now it's that time of the video where I do mundane, boring, everyday things like laundry. So let's go. Viv, do you want to go with me? It's a lazy Sunday for Viv. Are you naked? No. Oh, damn. Damn, I got real excited. <sighs> How about you carry this and I can't? Why, because mine rolls? Yeah, it's a little heavy. I, I got it. Thank you. I work out. I know. So big and strong and dependable and amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we use this like downy thing that helps with the freshness or like the smell of it. Hey Siri, set an alarm in 40 minutes. Yeah, I can just do it myself, but I like using Siri for this shit. Let's go cook. Viv is actually, um, Viv had DoorDash credit, so she ordered Hai Lua, where we went yesterday, and she got uh, food for herself. I wanna eat some protein, so I'm going to make food. I'm gonna run out of these Costco chicken patties soon. I gotta go back for more. Two eggs. No, I just broke my yolk. 
I know this meal doesn't look very impressive because it's like two frozen chicken patties and then two eggs, but uh, it's protein. I like the simplicity and the taste. And then this hot sauce is the secret to making anything taste good or just better. I am looking for like meal prep recipes that actually like taste good. But for now, this will do. Dude, don't do that, Yaki. Yaki keeps playing with Barrick, thinking that this is a toy. He keeps like trying to rip it up. Also, I have gotten questions about Barrick as well as Peric and then Piv. I have no idea where we got these. All I know is that we went to some store at Garden State Plaza, like a plushie store in New Jersey, and they had these, so we got them. The yolk on top broke, but the one on the bottom is still nice. I actually cooked that shit perfect. Mm, mm, mm. What do I do now, guys? <laughs> I always hit this point in my vlogs where I realize I'm not doing anything for the day and I have no idea how to vlog it. Stop hovering under Viv <laughs> for the food. He does this every time we eat. It's so bad. He just like hangs out under the table and looks for scraps that drop. Not that we let him eat it, but I don't know why he thinks he has a chance. It's because he's young. Terry's a veteran, so she knows that she's not getting any. Hi, Terry. The only time that we give them food is if it's like fruit. <laughs> they love watermelon and they love blueberries. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. Taking a shit right now. Just finished doing laundry. As you can tell, there's not a lot of diversity here in the wardrobe. Anyway, I was thinking about what I wanted it to do. The alcohol is pushing everything out right now. It's tough, but I'm hanging in there. I do have plans for dinner, but until then, I have so much free time. Sorry about that, guys. I, uh, I ended up falling asleep for like three or four hours, to be honest. I took a nap, but now I am in K-Town. It's my third time here this weekend, and honestly, I'm kind of sick of it. I'm getting dinner here with a friend of mine who will be here soon, I think, and we're going to be eating at Jongro. At Jongro, we finally got seated, and this is my boy Evan right here. I actually met Evan in real life for the first time like two to three months ago. We got dinner and then we got shit-faced. <laughs> One of my college friends, Jacob, I play video games with him and through him, I started playing video games with Evan, uh, TFT, Valorant. So then uh, we just became buddies and he visited, this is his second time in New York City and uh, we're getting dinner again and I decided to take him out to uh, Jongro. Yeah. And we got the large beef platter. It's like chalobegi, the skirt steak, the prime ribeye, and then the short rib. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I mean, we're starting off with the title veggie, which is the lamest shit, but that ribeye's gonna be nice. He loves the hanger, just like me. <laughs> just like me. Mmm. Yeah, that's my favorite one. There are better Korean barbecue spots in K-Town, in my opinion, like a lot. Actually, not a lot. There's a few better ones but this is the best bang for our buck. And I just paid rent on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, John Road is. Solid meal, solid conversation, a great time. Oh, yeah. I'll see you guys at home. Last day of the vlog and I am going to start it off by doing leg day. If you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs, you'll remember that on the first day that I tried doing these, it was absolutely awful. I had no balance. I felt like my form was off. But I'm getting it down now and I decided to add on some weight as well. So yeah, I've been having fun with these. After that, I moved on to Romanian deadlifts. And lately I've been focusing on keeping my spine in a neutral position and making sure my hip hinge is uh, looking good so that I can really focus on the hamstrings instead of making it a lower back exercise. Then I moved on to doing seated leg extensions for the quads. I mean, yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory. Go up and down, get big quads. And if you're wondering what weight I was doing, obviously I was maxing out the rack. I did want to do seated leg curls, but an old man had pretty much occupied that machine for like 30 minutes, so there was no chance. So I just went to go do some seated calf raises. I pumped out three sets of these. I probably could have done more, but I did have to leave the gym earlier than I usually would have liked just because I had a very busy day, got a bagel, and went to Williamsburg to get another tattoo. Does this place look familiar? 
That's because if you watched last week's video, this is where I got my tattoo. Fleur Noir, still can't pronounce it. Anyway, I am getting another one today. It's from the same artist, Kelly, and here is her Instagram if you guys want to check her out. And you should, because she's the GOAT. After I got my tiger tattoo done by her, I was like, all right, I need to get another one because this is too fire, so we're going to get a dragon today. I know, I know, super basic, super Korean, a tiger and a dragon. I just wanted a dragon on my body because it's f***ing sick. So we got a tiger, that's me, 1998, a rat, 1996 Reviv, and then a dragon, 2000 for my brother. This one's for you, but not really. I just wanted a dragon. Dev and I are here at Han Dynasty, which is a Szechuan restaurant in DeKalb Market. We've eaten here before. We love this place. Uh, it's not the best Szechuan food, but it's what's available. I mean, it's, it's decent. It's good. I know that Viv and I have not been cooking much this past weekend. And honestly, it's because we're just not really in the mood to like our like mental state. I think the best way to say is that I think we're just both mentally exhausted and so the task, the menial task of just cooking in itself is just like also a lot of work. As the day goes by, there's just like a weight on our shoulders and I'm not gonna lie, it's been pretty hard vlogging this past weekend. You know, I didn't really want to do anything and I didn't want to leave the apartment like at all. And it's just really unfortunate because every single day of this past weekend, we had planned, we had something planned out for the week. It was one of our busiest weekends. Yeah, what happened on Friday just really put, it really dampened our moods. But there's no point in sulking, thinking about what happened constantly. So we're, we're really trying to do our best to like pick ourselves up and just like get out there and do stuff. Cause I don't want this fucking nut job to control my life. You know, I don't want to live in fear that something like that is going to happen again. I'm going to be wary. I'm going to be cautious when I go outside more so than usual, but yeah that guy like absolutely f that guy viv has cried every single day multiple times just thinking about it she's actually trying not to cry right now i can tell <laughs> is there anything you want to say it's been tough guys it's been tough i've probably mentioned this like in the subtitles earlier in the video but i think viv and i have been trying to cope in different ways with what you know has happened i'm trying to minimize like how much of an effect the assault had on me but like the more i think about it like the the more angry and like scared I get, which just sucks. Like when we were doing the reenactment, like we were both laughing and like trying to have a good time, but we were just coping really hard because it was scary as f like there was nothing funny about it. Yeah, on that note, uh, let's eat. <laughs> mm. Wait, did you eat anything today? What'd you eat? Oh, and here is the dry pepper style chicken. The peppers look absolutely delicious. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna just go in. Mmm, yeah. Crisp is nice. The spice is nice. This is Viv's favorite, the snow pea leaves with garlic. The hardest part about eating Szechuan food for me though is how salty it is. Oh my God. Thank you. Dry pot fish, holy shit. This is an absolute feast, goddamn. Hey, and if you're about to comment, Eric, what about your diet? Shut up, bro. I got assaulted this week, all right? <laughs> let me eat. All right, let me try this fish, though. It looks really good. Woo! Mmm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, the cilantro's nice. Wow, the fish is actually really good. Better than the uh, beef and like the shrimp and stuff for this one. Viv wanted something spicy today, so this hits. She actually wanted the chicken vindaloo, but I told her my butthole cannot handle that right now. Would I recommend coming to Han Dynasty? Absolutely. Yep. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And our last menu item, dumplings in chili oil. I'm actually just going to turn my camera off so that Viv and I can just, you know, eat in peace. See you guys in a bit. We're going to call it a night here. 
Don Don noodles are finished, finish the dumplings. We're gonna take the chicken home, finish all the fish, and we're gonna take the peewees home. What would you say, like, eight out of 10? Eight out of 10.